already. We're here, very excited, doing a reaction to a mixtape 2021. This is uh, Astero Vampire uh, Vamp Mania. Vamp Mania. Hashtag after party. Uh, so what do I know from Astro now? I know this who tripping on your ass, 728 Crocs Road, and then I know the sex symbol, which was still my favorite project I've heard, and then the Vamp Mania and the Noctifier Symphony, which were also both great. Uh, and here we have, this was the one that was uh, like most vied for out of all the options, but uh, I'm definitely going to be doing... Lots of astral since it seems like many of you do want that. Um, so yeah, let's just dive into this. Okay, there's Welcome to the After Party. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's something about an after party on that final song on Vamp Mania, so this is almost, this is like an extension unto, this isn't just like a sequel, so is it potential that you could listen to both of them, like, uh, right after each other? Um, okay, yeah, so that's pretty interesting, uh, like this pressure that's kind of happening, that's what, kind of what it feels, it doesn't feel like it's really harping on that, that party aspect of it, it's a little bit m more distorted, um, but not in a chaotic way. Okay, let's go to Life is a Game. <laughs> All those sounds seem like they're going up, you know, the bass, like the high hats and the vibration are going down. Okay, so Life is a Game. This one's kind of interesting. I don't think it stands out already compared to the other three projects as a diving in. It doesn't impact me as much. Um, but I do still think this is uh, like doing a lot of things in production. Um, like I was already saying with the noise, kind of continuously doing shit like that. Hi-hats, always intense, but I never felt like I wanted to focus on them. A little bit near the end, that's where those synths like, we're starting to, like, be really loud and push in, um, almost as if it's, like, trying to break out of the structure. I don't know. Um, at least how I see it visually. Uh, but this is pretty cool. Okay, uh, Love Me Not, not as impactful, I think, as Life is a Game, um, but I do think this song, with its vocals at least, it's never something that's really striking out at you because it's so different, like, so strange, so lower, or, or not, not just lower, but overshadowed by things. Um, but it feels like it's attacking it. It almost feels like it's attacking the vocals. Like there's a very, uh, like, vi there's violence to this music. Um. Okay, I don't know which one's my favorite song here so far. This one, I think, didn't keep me in the energy as consistently as other ones, but when it did, it did. Especially, I do think that there was a nice, uh, like, a hooky flow that was really working. Um, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> I'm too fucking fucking talented, that's why nobody fuck with me I could 
good thing she was a swag Nigga, you don't wanna be good You a pussy and it shows I'm gonna go with beat to ride though So that's kind of uh, kind of a I still think this is good The fact that this has 18 songs It's like 25 minutes <laughs> I don't even know what saying it, but I like that. Definitely my favorite track on here so far, actually. Uh, I was completely in the vibe the whole time. Really thought it was interesting coming in with that aggression on the vocals right away. And then being able to like really ride a little bit of that, like, uh, almost like a, an aggressive breathiness that kind of comes in. Um, really rough. Oh, fuck. Yeah, this is a good one. I see shadows on the wall. Your bitch got my sigil jaw. Fucking shit so like a mall. Fucking shit so like a mall. Okay. Already. For this one, too. Fucking shit. Weird. Niggas on TV got this shit no gas. Eddie Brock, I got a bug on my back. King of Susan made the army attack. Get you going. No, I don't need a shot. Niggas on TV. Niggas on TV. But listen to me. Niggas on TV. Why? 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 Blue Stripes, like that one too. I think I definitely because of the, the flow, a um, little bit of a, the bass kind of reminds me of like a Twin Peaks song, like a, like that's that type of vibe, but again, very obscured by everything else going along with it, or different emotions are kind of being thrown there. Um, yeah. <laughs> Last song had that, I just don't like it. Okay, last little bit here, I really like that. It's almost like a spaceship glow up. Um, but I don't know. Maybe my, I don't know. Maybe my third least favorite song. Like, I am feeling like I'm hearing a lot of the same things. 
um, but not in the same way that I felt with those other projects. Um, like this isn't does not have the same consistency I'm feeling already. Uh, let's get into the last few tracks. How many tracks is there? Four. <laughs> Okay, so see you again, final track there. Seems like it's doing a little bit too much of the same types of, uh, you know, things that the other albums were doing, but it's just not really hitting in that same specific way. What am I thinking as like a score right now? Uh, six and a half to a seven. To be honest, uh, I feel more strongly about the it going up higher, but I really do need to give this another listen. Um, it just it's not really clicking as much as I'd want to. I think there was certainly some songs where, when it comes to a flow basis, or that's creating some hardness, harder uh, beats like those vibrating beats that come along with it. Uh, sometimes it usually is not the repetition of the beats that are bugging me. It usually is like the throw-in sounds that just seem to be placed poorly and not seamlessly uh, all the time. But um, yeah, I'll let you know how I feel after a few more spins. All right, we know what the vibe is now. We know what the vibe is. Um, six and a half to a seven is what I gave it initially for this Vamp Mania after party. I'm gonna have to give it a seven and a half now. It's seven and a half. Um, why is this not as good as the other albums though? I'm gonna say it's not as good as the other albums, mostly because of consistency issues. I was really enjoying the first six, seven tracks of this. Uh, and I was saying in the video, flow basis was still good, but coming back to the songs, I was like, okay, there is still new cool things with production. Um, that slot thing, I did say I was upset about the slot thing when, when I filmed it. I, I didn't make it to the final uh, cut, but coming back to it, I was like, okay, um, the slot thing doesn't work out as much as it, I wanted it to in the end. But that's just based off of its overuse for sure. Um, but I, I still found enough fun lyrically. Coming back to this, I did, did get to pick up on lyrics a little bit more. Yes, there's nothing uh, too profound, but I like its cockiness. I, I like its cockiness. I like that it pushes in, uh, especially with that fast-paced uh, nature. Uh, still worth the listen. This so, still certainly worth the listen. Um, I, th I don't know if my score has anything to do with how I, I re-listen to this, because um, I was paying attention much more to track by track uh, in comparison to those other projects where I was feeling it as a whole. Here, not as much, but I'm still vibing. If there's anything else you want to see me react to, anything at all, put a comment down below, and uh, thank you for watching. Peace.